Time for a library book haul. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got a library book haul for you guys. Got a couple of books here we got from the library. Uh, there are more picks that we did get from the library, but those are more Danielle. She might have a video with some of the other books uh, that we got. Uh, so stay tuned for that on her channel, which is linked down below. Also down below is Patreon. Help support the channel. Duh. We've got a couple of books here we got from the library that sound intriguing to me, and I would like to share them with you. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's uh, get into the books. All right, the first one up is actually my current read. And that is The Last One by Will Dean. So this, the blurb on the back says, has she lost her mind or is that what they want her to think? And so far, this book has actually been pretty good. This book, we're following this girl named Kaz. I want to say her name is Cassandra, but they, she prefers to be called Kaz. And she goes on this boat with a new love interest, Pete. And when she wakes up, everyone on the boat's gone. Crew members, Pete everyone's gone and just to follow up to where I'm at she just stumbled across two other people who were on the boat so I'm very intrigued with this story so far and I'm very excited to see where it goes uh, mainly because they're on this giant boat called the Atlantica and it's supposed to it kind of seems like it's like doing a Titanic route going from like somewhere in Europe to America and New York and I'm anxious to see where it goes and the girl they just stumbled upon just pointed out the fact that they're heading south, not west. Wherever Europe to New York would be. I don't know what the route of the Titanic was. I know it just went from Europe to New York. I don't know which direction that is. I'm not good with maps. Whatever. She just said it's going north or south and they're heading towards somewhere that it's not supposed to be going to. So, I'm very en enthralled with this book. So, we're going to see where it goes. But yeah, there you have the last one by Will Dean. Next up, we have Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones. This book is the sequel to My Heart is a Chainsaw which I read and I really love that book. I believe I ended up giving it four stars. And this is the sequel to it. And the little blurb says, Jade returns to the rural lake town of Proof Rock the same day as convicted indigenous serial killer Dark Mill South escapes into town to complete his revenge killings in this riveting sequel to My Heart a Chainsaw. So Jade has become a, I'm mean, based off of just the first book, she is a favorite character of mine. She is really cool and I really did enjoy her in book one. I'm excited to see where it goes with book two. Um, there is a third book out, Cur uh, something Indian Lake, Curse of Indian Lake or something like that. I, I don't remember what the title of the third one is. It, the Queen, the King of Indian Lake, whatever. There's a third book and I'm excited to get to that one after I read this one and Ugh, the first one was really good and I've heard really good things about this one too so but yeah there you have Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones next up is The Hike by Drew Magary McGarry uh, we're gonna go with McGarry because that sounds a little bit more correct this cover very psychedelic uh, the blurb from the author of The Post Mortal, a fantasy saga unlike any you've read before, weaving elements of folk tales and video games into a riveting, unforgettable adventure of what a man will endure to return to his family. I, I mean, it sounds very enthralling. Uh, I, this is also mainly just kind of like a cover pickup, just because, I mean, like, look at that. If there's no glare, I mean, uh, what else? I, I, it just looks psychedelic. At once biddingly funny and emotionally absorbing, The Hike is a remarkable milestone in a contemporary fantasy, a novel that creates an entirely new and timeless story. In The Hike, in the hike McGarry takes readers on a daring odyssey away from their day-to-day -day grind and transports them into an enthralling world propelled by heart, imagination, and survival. I mean, yeah, I, I also really just like the dude in the dog mask is beating the crap out of the back of somebody's head. I really don't know, like, what I've, like, I don't know what the importance of that would be, um, but I'm for it. But, yeah, there you have The Hike by Drew McGarry. Next up is Wasps in the Ice Cream, and this one is by Tim McGregor. 
I actually have already read this book. I believe I have this in a recent reads. I'll link it up here. I gave this five stars. It was a really good book and it was really, really like... It was really good. I don't know what else really... Mark, we're following this kid named Mark, and he has a best friend. I think his name was Pete? I don't know what his name... George. No. I don't remember what the name of his best friend is, but the guy's a dick, and, like, he bullies all these people. He ends up joining a different group of friends, and, like, Mark's, like, outcasted because he befriends one of the... The weird, the feral girls, like the weird, like, sister group that, like, weird, like, everybody thinks they're, like, witches or they're, like, really weird. Uh, and he befriends the middle sister, George, and, like, all of a sudden he's an outcast. And uh, it's a really good book, and it's actually, like, I consider it, like, also kind of like a coming-of-age story. And I, I just really liked it. I don't, I, I don't know. It was a weird pick. Danielle picked it, and I really loved it. So, there you have Wasp and the Ice Cream by Tim McGregor. All right, next up is Oracle by Thomas Old Huvelt. This is an author I've read before, and that one was Hex, and I believe I gave that five stars. It was actually a really, really good book. It was also really weird, but I loved it. There's also another book by him that's already been out. It's called Echo. I have not read that one yet, and I really, really wish I had. This book, it uh, sounds really interesting, mainly because it's an... My biggest thing with this is it's an author I've read before, so half the time when I have an author I've read in the past, I usually don't always want to know a whole bunch going into the book because I like being surprised because I liked the first one. Like, Darcy Coates, like, I honestly don't even read the like plots of some of some of her books anymore because it's Darcy Coates. I know Darcy Coates. I know Darcy. I don't actually know Darcy, but you know what I mean. So I've read one book from this guy and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And so half the time I don't want to go into the blurbs knowing anything. Um, but the first part of this says on a foggy winter morning, high school kids Luca and Emma discover the impossible. The wreck of an 18th century ship stranded in a flower field. So, I mean, like, that starts off pretty weird. And the cover, you got some dude standing in on an ocean wearing a yellow trench coat or, like, a yellow hoodie of some sort. So, I mean, again, he's had lots of good books. Or, well, he's had one good book that I've read, and Echo I heard some good things about, too. So, very excited to get to this one. There you have Oracle by Thomas Old Huvelt. Next up, we have got Fantastic Land by Mike Bakovin. So, this is basically... A horror book set in an amusement park called Fantastic Land. The blurb says, get ready for a struggle for survival in the unlikeliest of places. Prepare to visit Fantastic Land. I, I mean, there's really not much else I really can say about it. It's a horror book set at an amusement park. It's... I, pff, I mean, there's not much else I really can say. It's literally sounds so interesting. I've never read from this author before. So this will be a first for this gentleman. And Fantastic Land. I like, let's go. I'm very excited to see what is up with this book. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Fantastic Land. Mike Bachman. All right. Next up is This Skin Was Once Mine and Other Disturbances by Eric LaRocca. So I have read uh, everything, everything has gotten worse since we last spoke, or things have gotten worse since we last spoke. It was a wild ride, and I honestly, I honestly don't remember a whole lot about that book. Uh, Eric Laraka and I, I don't know, I haven't vibed with the stuff he's written. But I'm going to give this a try. It's four short stories. Uh, the skin was once mine, seedling, all the parts of you that won't easily burn, and prickle. I thought, that, I thought it said pickle. <laughs> what a story. Uh, four devastating tales from a master of modern horror. Uh... We'll see how it goes. The cover looks pretty interesting. And I just... I don't know. I'm hoping this one's better than the first one I read by Eric Laraka. We'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have The Skin Was Once Mine and Other Disturbances by Eric Laraka. Alright, the last one I'm going to talk about is The Other Side of Night. And that is by Adam Hamdy. So another author I have not read from before. Uh, this one... I mean, it just sounded kind of intriguing. 
because uh, James Patterson said, I couldn't stop thinking about the story's incredible twist, like no crime novel I've ever read. And James Patterson has written about like 500 books, and, you know, he usually is, you know, it's James Patterson. A disgraced police officer, a grieving author, an elusive suspect, all bound together by a series of mysterious deaths and a boy named Elliot. So, I'm very interested to see what happens with this book. So yeah, basically, Danielle had heard some good things about this book, so we figured we would pick it up and see what happens and see what's going on with this boy named Elliot. There you have The Other Side of Night by Adam Hamdy. Alright, so that was my library book haul. Again, there will probably be another part on Danielle's channel with some other books uh, that is more geared towards her enjoyment and liking. But yeah, very exciting stuff down below. Don't forget to check out the Patreon, Danielle's channel. Let me know some stuff you've gotten lately, whether it's from the library or not. It doesn't matter to me. Or if you've read any of these books, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Keep them spoiler free as well, please. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.